Let's move on to main topic number three. And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Sammy DeWise. DeWise writes, Greetings, John, and please let me say how much I've been looking forward to your show returning. Oh, thank you so much, Sammy. It's great to be back. Anyway, wondering if you saw that Disney Plus has put X-Men Days of Future Past up, but without censoring out the nude butt shot or the F-bomb. My question is, why cover the butt shot in Splash, but leave this stuff in X-Men? Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot, man, for sending that in. And for those of you who have not caught it, X-Men Days of Future Past is apparently now going up or might even be up right now on Disney Plus in North America. Now, it has been on Disney Plus in other territories already. And it became a topic of discussion. Because as we discussed ad nauseum, when Disney Plus put up Splash on, on their American version of Disney Plus, they didn't censor anything out. But one of the things they did do was... They, in a scene where you saw Daryl Hannah's bare ass, they CGI'd her hair longer just so her hair covered her butt. Some people made a big deal out of it. I never thought it was a big deal. It's not like they edited scenes out of the movie. It's not like they fundamentally changed the movie. I thought it was much ado about nothing. And when the topic came up, well, you know, in other territories where they're showing X-Men Days of Future Past... They've got like a butt shot and they've got like an F-bomb dropping. Isn't that a little bit inconsistent? And what I was fairly certain of was, you know, one of the things I said was, well, yeah, but I bet you, I bet you when they bring X-Men Days of Future Past over to the North American version of Disney Plus, I bet you they will do something to either edit out the F-bomb or bleep over the F-bomb or something. They'll do something creative, blah, blah, blah. To keep it pretty friendly, friendly too. And I felt fairly certain. I don't know if you guys saw the episodes, but I was like, you know what, guys, I'm telling you, when they bring it over, they're probably going to censor that too. Well, guess what? They're not. They are keeping in the butt shot and they're keeping in Hugh Jackman's F-bomb. As a matter of fact, Hugh Jackman got on social media and he posted, Days of Future Past becomes the first movie to air on Disney+, Plus, completely uncensored. Of course, that's not true. There are several, many, many, many projects that are uncensored on Disney+. Plus. But uh, that was my future, but let's be honest, it's more like my past. So he put that up on there as well. So it raises the question. It brings up the question. Why... Did Disney work put in CGI in Splash to extend Daryl Hannah's hair to cover her, her ass, yet they put up X-Men Days of Future Past, and they don't. They don't do anything to cover the F-bomb, to cover the bare ass, or anything like that. Why one and not the other? When some people like me were very certain that when they brought it over to Disney Plus, I'm sure they're going to do the same thing that they did to Splash and it won't be a big deal. And yet here we are, they didn't. So why one indeed? Why one and not the other? Well, I've got four possibilities here about why they decided to not censor any of the stuff in X-Men Days of Future Past when in fact they did cover Daryl Hannah's ass. And it could be any one of these four things. It could be any combination of these four things, or it might be all of them packaged into one. Here are my theories about why they're not censoring X-Men Days of Future Past, whereas they did put the hair to cover over uh, Daryl Hannah's ass. Reason number one, or possibility number one, Disney Plus sees Splash as a truly family film. That's one option here. Now, when you look at something like X-Men Days of Future Past, or really most comic book movies today, they are not really family films. They're good for the family, but they're not family films. Like, they very much are PG-13 movies. So one explanation could be that, you know, Disney Plus looked at Splash, and they said, you know, other than the bare ass shot, this movie Splash is very much a very family film. And we feel we can market it as a family film the bare ass shot is one thing that really stands in contrast that's you know what no 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 big deal we'll just ex we'll use cgi we'll extend out daryl hannah's hair cover it there we have a very family film in splash that's one possibility i'm not saying that's it but i'm saying that's one possibility possibility number two that unlike 
extending the hair of Daryl Hannah to cover her bare ass, that doesn't change the movie at all. That doesn't change Splash in the least. But possibility number two is that maybe they thought that taking out the R-rated stuff in Days of Future Past did fundamentally change an aspect or two of X-Men Days of Future Past. Now, I've made the argument on this show, and, and I still stand by it, that Disney covering Daryl Hannah's ass, again, in no way fundamentally changes that movie. In no way. It doesn't change our understanding of any of the characters. It doesn't change our perception of any of the scenes. It doesn't change anything with the narrative at all. It changed nothing. Maybe Disney looked at this situation. Again, this is just a theory. Maybe Disney looked at the situation saying, you know what? That F-bomb speaks to the character. Or that butt shot speaks to our understanding of the scene. Again, I'm not saying this is the case. I'm saying this is a possibility. So whereas with Splash, covering the bare ass didn't fundamentally change anything about the movie, the characters, our understanding of the characters, our understanding of the scenes, but maybe they looked at the Days of Future Past thing and felt, you know what? Taking out the F-bomb, covering that scene, cutting out that scene, that does fundamentally change something about the movie, and we don't want to fundamentally change anything about the movie. Possibility number one, they see Splash as a total family film. Possibility number two, they thought taking out the R stuff in Days of Future Past might fundamentally change the amount of the film. Possibility number three, the Splash situation, or as I spelt it, Spash. Have you guys seen Spash? Fabulous movie. Anyway, number three, the Splash situation may have fundamentally changed their minds. I mean, it is possible, however unlikely, that maybe Disney you know, looked at the splash situation, what happened with the, with the covering and the, the hair. And they thought, you know what, was it even worth it doing it? I mean, really, was it worth it doing it? Cause you know, companies like people, they do things, they try things. Sometimes they do the best things. Sometimes they do stupid things and you learn from your successes and your failures. Maybe Disney looked at what they did with splash and thought, you know what, at the end of the day, we really didn't even bother needing to do that. We didn't need to do that. And so then when Days of Future Past is coming up, they just decided, you know what? Let, just leave it. Let's decide whether or not we put it on Disney Plus and maybe we put it on Hulu instead. But either way, let's just leave it as it is. It's not that bad. Overall, the movie's still PG-13. Let's just leave it. That's a possibility. Okay, so number one, they saw Splash primarily as a family film. Number two, they thought that taking out the R-rated stuff may fundamentally change an element of the movie. And they didn't want to do that. Number three, maybe they thought, you know, hey, we learned a lesson from Splash or Spash. We learned a lesson from that and maybe we'll make an adaptation here. But there's a fourth possibility here that this one may sound a little bit crazy. Maybe it is a bit crazy. What if this was all just a big marketing gimmick for Days of Future Past? It, that's unlikely. It's uh, it's unlikely. I, I'm fully acknowledging here it's unlikely, but follow me here just for a second why I consider it at least a possibility. What if Disney's marketing, and they have a lot of geniuses over at Disney Marketing. Disney knows how to market their crap. What if they thought, you know, let's make a big deal out of X-Men Days of Future Past when we're ready to put it on. Let's create this situation. Let's say, say Splash. Let's do something completely harmless with Splash. I don't know. CGI hair to cover her butt. Okay. So that way, when it's come times for us to release X-Men Days of Future Past, we can say, look, guys, we're releasing this one completely uncensored. Again, I am not saying that is likely. And that's a lot of foresight if that's what went on. I'm not saying it's likely. I'm just throwing out there with a lot of the very sophisticated, advanced, kind of weird things that Disney marketing has done before. I wouldn't fall out of my seat in shock and surprise if we were to find out that this whole the whole splash thing was just a setup for marketing gimmick for X-Men Days of Future Past being released. Again, I don't think it's likely, but it's a possibility. So let's revisit it again. Why did they put up? X-Men Days Future Past Uncensored when they did the thing with Splash to cover ass. A couple of possibilities. Could be any one of them. 
Could be a combination of a couple, could be all of them combined. Number one, they saw Splash as a totally family film, and so they wanted to address that. Possibility number two, they thought taking out any of the R-rated stuff would fundamentally change an aspect of the movie that they did not want to change. And after all, the movie itself is still a PG-13 movie. Possibility number three, maybe they decided that Splash, Splash changed their minds. Their, their whole ex example and exercise and experiment with the Splash stuff, maybe that changed their minds. And number four, as unlikely as it sounds, maybe it was all just one big gimmick. One big gimmick for setting up X-Men Days of Future Past. So those are the possibilities there, guys. Why do you think Disney decided to extend the hair and splash, but didn't do any censoring or editing or finagling or artistic expression, whatever, to cover up some of the more traditionally R-rated material in X-Men Days of Future Past? Do you agree with any of the possibilities I raised? Do you think it's a combination? Do you think it's something completely different? Jump down into the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys.